Here is an updated version of my vitamin C serum. So in my last series of videos and in my third book, Do It Gorgeously, I give you a recipe for vitamin C serum. Now, vitamin C, very important anti-aging ingredient. It's one of the few ingredients that has been proven to build elastin, build collagen, diminish sunspots. It's just essential for your anti-aging regime. However, it's very unstable, vitamin C. Uh, so it, that means that it oxidizes very quickly. It turns bad and when something oxidizes like vitamin C, also the same thing, by the way, is L-ascorbic acid. It loses its efficacy. So my intention in making this serum was that we got the vitamin C powder, the crystals, as quickly onto your face as we possibly could so that they would have be um, at their most potent. Um, that being said, there were a few issues with this last recipe. Some of you loved it. Some of you said that it was a little bit gritty because the crystals didn't completely dissolve and others of you found it a little bit sticky. So I have revised and updated it. And we're gonna change out two of the ingredients. So there's only actually three ingredients anyway. So I spent quite a lot of time experimenting and fiddling with this, and this I think you'll all be absolutely thrilled with. So when I wrote the recipe before, there was, it was very hard for me to find completely water-soluble vitamin C crystals. I just couldn't, the only place I could find them, they were super, super expensive. So I didn't want to include that in the recipe because it was prohibitive for those of us who want to save money by making our own skincare. So we, I just suggested using uh, vitamin C powders that you would find at the health food store or Trader Joe's or whatever. However, those ones, they're eventually water-soluble, but it takes a while and it still feels a bit gritty, so not ideal. So I finally found one, which is brilliant, and it's completely insoluble. I promise you it will immediately dissolve. Um, it's from a company called makingcosmetics.com. Very easy. You get a small pot of the L-ascorbic acid. You only need, it comes in all sorts of different sizes, I promise you, you will not need a, a, a jar bigger than this. This I've had for months and months because you're using quarter of a teaspoon at a time, and it's very inexpensive. I think this was around seven bucks. Um, so that's what you need from makingcosmetics.com. Now the other thing that you're going to need is aloe vera gel, not juice, but gel. In my uh, recipe before, I used vegetable glycerin, which is also nice in a serum, but can lead to a tiny bit of stickiness. This does not lead to stickiness at all. So three simple ingredients, and this is what they are. You've got your L-ascorbic acid crystals, your vitamin C from makingcosmetics.com, quarter of a teaspoon. You're gonna add quarter of a teaspoon to four teaspoons of distilled water. Mix them around, as I said before, it will dissolve completely. Then you're going to add two teaspoons of aloe vera gel. It can come out a tiny bit lumpy. You might need to use a little whisk to whisk it up so you get rid of all the lumps. Then use a funnel to pour it into a little bottle. You can actually keep it in anything, to be honest, but it is useful if you've got an old dropper bottle. This is one is from something else from years ago and I sterilized it in my dishwasher. And I like the, uh, using a dropper bottle because then when I'm ready to use it, I just shake it up and I take a pipette full of the serum, put it in the palm of my hand, rub my hands together, and then I rub it all over my face, my neck, my chest, and my the backs of my hands. And it's that simple. Now, I'm recommending that you only make that amount, which is about six teaspoons worth, um, because you want to use it up quickly and just keep, keep making it. So make it every two or three days, because the fresher, obviously, the better. But in my mind, it's so easy to make. If you have these ingredients, just two ingredients and the water just sitting in your kitchen. You can mix it up while you're you know, waiting for the kettle to boil in the morning. Mix up your batch for the next two or three days and you're done. So that is the updated recipe. I promise that you will love it. 
If you do not want to make your own vitamin C serum, make sure that you get one that uses vitamin C, a form of that is very stable. And not all of them are. There is one that I really like called Mad Hippie, and uh, they use a completely stable form of vitamin C. I like it so much that I added it to my Open Sky collection, so you can actually buy it there um, if you want to. But if you want to sell, save oodles of money, uh, the way to go is to make your own. So enjoy it and let me know what you think.